Audiobook Academy Biography Presents. Warren Buffett. Warren Buffett, the Oracle of Omaha, is a financial genius who also happens to be one of the world's wealthiest and most well-liked businessmen. At a young age, Warren Buffett shown a strong business acumen. After he founded Buffett Partnership Limited in 1956, he took over Berkshire Hathaway by 1965. Being in charge of an empire that included media, insurance, energy, as well as food and beverage companies, Warren Buffett rose to fame as a generous donor and one of the world's wealthiest men. Childhood Warren Buffett was born in Omaha, Nebraska, on August 30, 1930. Howard Buffett was a stockbroker and a member of the United States Congress. Layla Stahl Buffett, his mother, was a stay-at-home mom. There were three children in the Buffett family, with Buffett being the lone boy. It was stated that the boy was an early mathematical prodigy who could mentally add vast columns of numbers. This is something he periodically proved in his later years, when he showed an aptitude for financial and economic problems. For many years, Buffett visited his father's stock brokerage office and drew the stock values on a blackboard there. At the tender age of 11, he purchased three shares of City Service preferred at a price of $38 each. Buffett hung on until the price rose to $40, despite a sharp plunge to just $27. He made a tiny profit when he sold his shares but he later regretted it when City Service's stock price soared to about $200 per share. Investing patience was an early lesson for him, he said later. Entrepreneurship. He was working as a paperboy and selling his own horse racing tip sheet by the time he was 13 years old. He claimed a $35 tax deduction for his bike on his first return that year. Fredericksburg, Virginia, became a new home for Buffett and his family in 1942 after Buffett's father was elected to the House of Representatives. After high school, Buffett attended Woodrow Wilson College Preparatory in Washington, D.C. He and a friend bought an old pinball machine for $25 during his time in high school. They put it in a barber shop and made enough money from it in a short period of time to buy more machines. Before he sold the business for $1,200, Buffett had machines in three different locations. Education. To further his studies in business, Warren Buffett enrolled at the University of Pennsylvania at the age of 16. In the end, he traveled to the University of Nebraska to complete his degree and emerged from college with roughly $10,000 from his childhood businesses. Following his graduation from the New York Institute of Finance in 1951, he went on to complete his master's degree in economics at Columbia University under the tutelage of economist Benjamin Graham. Buffett worked for Buffett Falk and Company for three years before joining his mentor at Graham Newman Corporation as an analyst, influenced by Graham's 1949 book, The Intelligent Investor. Shareholding Berkshire Hathaway. In 1956, Buffet founded the Omaha-based company Buffett Partnership Limited. A millionaire was made by using the principles he had acquired from Graham in selecting undervalued companies. Berkshire Hathaway, a textile company that Buffett held in high regard, was one such enterprise. In the early 1960s, he began building up his stake in the corporation, and by 1965, he was in charge. To focus on Berkshire Hathaway's growth, Warren Buffett disbanded Buffett Partnership in 1969. Instead of focusing on textile manufacture, he bought media, the Washington Post, insurance, Geico, and oil assets to grow the company, Exxon. The Oracle of Omaha was so successful that he even managed to turn seemingly bad investments into gold, most notably with his purchase of Salomon Brothers in 1987. Before 2006, Buffett was the director of Coca-Cola following Berkshire Hathaway's large stake in the company. Furthermore, he has served as a director of Graham Holdings, Citigroup, and the Gillette Company. Legacy and Charitable Endeavors To the delight of the world, Warren Buffett announced in June 2006 that he would be giving away his entire fortune to good causes, with the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation receiving the lion's share. This donation was the largest in U.S. history in terms of philanthropic giving. The Giving Pledge campaign was launched by Warren Buffett and Bill Gates in 2010 to encourage more rich people to donate to charitable causes. After being diagnosed with prostate cancer in 2012, Buffett made the announcement. In July, he began receiving radiation treatment, which he completed in November. Despite the health concern, the octogenarian continues to rank among the world's wealthiest people, according to Forbes. Buffett and private equity firm 3G Capital purchased H.J. Hines in February 2013 for $28 billion. Battery maker Duracell and Kraft Foods Group which in 2015 combined with Heinz to form the third largest food and beverage corporation in North America, were later Berkshire Hathaway acquisitions. To help individuals in his Nebraska town exercise their right to vote, Buffett established Drive to Vote, 
a website that encourages people to register to vote, as well as provides information on how to get a ride to a polling place if necessary. Buffett has been an outspoken backer of Hillary Clinton, whom he endorsed in 2015, and he has also challenged Donald Trump to meet and reveal their tax returns. I will meet him in Omaha or Mar-a-Lago or, he can pick the place, any time between now and the election, he declared at a rally in Omaha on August 1st. Then he'll bring his return, and so on. We're both being audited at the same time. And no one is going to stop us from talking about what's on those returns, trust me on that. He declined, but his refusal to release his tax records ultimately did not prevent him from becoming President of the United States during the 2016 election. Warren Buffett made the announcement in May of this year that he had began selling some of his IBM stock, saying that six years previously he had valued the business far more highly than he does now. A further sell in the third quarter reduced his holdings in the company to roughly 37 million shares total. By exercising warrants for 700 million shares, he became Bank of America's largest shareholder and raised his position in Apple by 3%. Berkshire Hathaway's largest common stock holding was now Apple, thanks to Warren Buffett's purchase of more shares. Since 2006, Berkshire Hathaway CEO Warren Buffett has donated about $28 billion to charitable causes, according to USA Today. Venture in the Healthcare Sector JP Morgan Chase and Amazon released a joint press statement on January 30, 2018, in which the three companies stated that they would launch a new healthcare firm for its employees in the United States. An initial focus on technology solutions was stated in the statement, which stated that profit-making incentives and restraints will be removed from the company's efforts to lower costs and enhance the whole process for patients. We believe that, over time, Investing in the country's top talent will help control healthcare costs while simultaneously improving patient happiness and results. Buffett likened rising healthcare prices to a hungry tapeworm eating away at the U.S. economy. Reports surfaced in March stating that the second largest residential brokerage in the United States, Berkshire Hathaway's Home Services of America Inc., was planning to take more steps toward the top slot, which was held by Real G's NRT LLC during Berkshire Hathaway's acquisition of Mid-American Energy Holdings Companies. Home services in 2000, Warren Buffett admitted he barely noticed the acquisition. This year, Berkshire Hathaway announced it had sold its stakes in the big four airlines, Southwest, American Airlines and Delta and United, because it was concerned that the industry would never fully recover from its outbreak of the coronavirus. Intimate Contexts Buffett married longtime partner Astrid Menx in 2006, at the age of 76. First wife Susan Thompson, who died of breast cancer in 2004, was Buffett's first wife from 1952 to 2004, albeit they divorced in the 1970s. Susan, Howard, and Peter were their three children. Thank you for listening in Audiobook Academy. Don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button for more content like this, see you in next video.